hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is dx12 is not supported on your system try running without the dash dx12 or dash d3 d12 command line argument so if you're receiving this error whenever you launch lots of the fallen game on your windows computer then please follow the step shown in this video now the first step is to make sure your graphic card and the system is supported to play the game so make sure your system is supported to play the game so you can go to steam website and you can check the minimum system requirement is uh, like 12 gb ram you should have this processor and the directx version should be version 12 graphics vram is minimum is 6 gb so make sure that your computer has this or the configuration is better than this now once you are sure that your computer is supported then the next step is to restart your computer simply restart your computer once so just restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game this has worked for many players so it might work for you so try this the next step is to remove any entry from the launch option in steam so make a right click on the game select properties now in the launch option if you have any kind of uh, like dash dx12 or any kind of entry remove this and then launch the game and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is very important and this will for me this fixed the problem i was receiving that error message and my windows was not up to date so make sure that your your windows is up to date so open windows settings go to update and security in windows 10 or windows update in windows 11 and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and you should not receive the error but still you are receiving the error message or you are unable to update your windows 10 or 11 so if you are receiving any kind of error message or if the windows is not updating the latest version you can check the right now the latest version is version 22h2 so you can check it type in w i n v e r winver in and then open w i n v e r run command now check the re, the latest one is 22h2 so make sure that your windows 11 or windows 10 is up has the latest update and if you face any kind of trouble updating your windows 10 or 11 you can use media creation tool to update your windows 11 or windows 10. if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see this screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. And once the installation is complete, log into your computer. Now for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also you will find media creation tool. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file. Then click on next. You can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update 
Now before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. Now once you update your windows using media creation tool, you can launch the game and check. Also install DirectX. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Copy this link in a browser. Copy this link and open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see DirectX and click on download over here. And once the download is complete, run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And then click on accept, next. Uncheck install the ping bar. We don't want it. So click on next. And let the installation complete. Click on finish and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to make sure discrete graphic card is enabled in device manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. Now expand display adapters over here. Now over here, I have dual graphic card. One is Intel that is inbuilt and other is Nvidia. So make sure this is the discrete graphic card. Make sure this dedicated graphic card is enabled in device manager. So if you make a right click, if you see enable device option over here, if this is disabled, in that case, you will see enable device option. In my case, this is already enabled. That's why it's disabled device. So if your dedicated graphic card is disabled over here, make a right click and then click on enable device. Never disable your discrete graphic card. Always make sure that it is enabled in device manager. Now, now you can launch the game. If that is disabled, you can enable it and then launch the game. Next step is to is for desktop users. Make sure monitors display cable is connected to the graphic card slot instead of motherboard slot. So in my case, now here you can see some computers have a dual graphic card. So I have Intel other is Nvidia. Now motherboard slot has this Intel, the inbuilt graphic card. So if you connect the your display cable, it may be HDMI display cable or DVI cable, whichever cable you are using to connect to the monitor. So make sure that you connect the display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot. So if you look at the tower, on your tower, on the front or maybe on the back, there is a separate graphic card slot. So make sure that you connect the display cable to the graphic card slot, not the inbuilt motherboard slot. If you connect it to the motherboard, you might receive this error message. But once you connect the cable, the display cable to the discrete graphic card, then you should not receive the error message if the graphic card is supported. So launch the game, make sure that it is connected to the dedicated graphic card and then launch the game. Next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. This is very important. Make sure that your uh, graphic card is up to date. If you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website and do a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So go to NVIDIA website. Now we here select your graphic card. Uh, make sure that you select your product type. For me, it's GeForce. Now select your right series over here. So for me, it's uh, RTX 30 series notepad. If you have notepad, select notepad. If you have desktop, select desktop over here. Now select the right graphic card over here. So make sure that you select your graphic card over here. Now if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. And then click on start search. And then the latest GeForce game ready driver right now is driver version 537.58. So you can click on get download and then click on download now. Now once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next. Now after the clean installation, once this is this process is complete, first of all it will uninstall the previous version and then it will do a clean installation of the new version and once this is complete you can restart the computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this 
type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings over here. And then over here, make sure desktop app is selected and then click on browse over here. And then go to the game installation folder. If the game is installed in C drive, open C drive. In my case, it is from Steam. So open program file 686. Now open the Steam folder, open Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder and then open the lots of the fallen folder and select this exe file now click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added over here click on options and then select high performance and then click on save again click on browse and then open this lotf2 folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on add in my case again the game is already added once the game is added, click on it, then click on options, select your discrete graphic card, which is high performance, put a check on high performance, now click on save, and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Now make a double click and launch the game from the game installation folder and then check. If that does not work, open this LOTF2 folder and then open binaries win64 make a double click on this exe file and then launch the game and then check next step is to make a right click on the on the first exe file and then select properties and then go to this tab and then put a check on the option which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again select properties and then this time put a check on Disable full screen optimization and then click on apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Still you are facing the problem, then again properties and this time put a check over here and then select Windows 8 from the list, click on apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, you can try Windows 7 this time and then click on apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game. Still you are facing the problem, do the same thing with this exe file, the second exe file. Make a right click, select properties run as administrator apply ok launch the game if that does not work this time put a check on disable full screen optimization then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time select windows 8 over here and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and this time still facing the problem then select windows 7 and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game now, if nothing is working, then in that case, make a right click, select properties, uncheck all the boxes. If it's not working, no need. You have to uncheck all the boxes. Go back and do the same thing with this exe file properties. Uncheck all the box. If it's not working, you better uncheck it. And then you can apply, click on OK. And then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to verify the game files. Now, for this, make a right click on the game, select properties go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game next step is to update the system bios so go to your system manufacturer website if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo computer go to lenovo website if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest bios update available and then update the system BIOS. Now, if you have a laptop, in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer and then update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to close all the overclocking applications. So, uh, if you have like MSI Afterburner or Reva Tuner or any kind of overclocking application, close it. Do not overclock. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to move the game to SSD, the solid state drive. So, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to the install files tab and then click on move install folder. If the game is installed in HDD, that is mechanical drive, in that case, you can select your SSD. So if you have SSD over here, if you uh, you can connect the SSD and if the C drive is SSD, if you have an option to select C drive and that is an SSD, you can select your SSD over here and then click on move. And once the move is complete, you can launch the game. In my case, it is already installed in C drive and it's SSD.
So check, move it, check, launch the game and then check and make sure that your SSD has enough space. Now the last step is to uninstall the game. If nothing is working, you can make a right click, select manage, then go to uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, reinstall the game to C drive. And if that is SSD, that is great. So try installing the game to C um, to solid state drive and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.